Hello, everyone, and welcome to Sunday. As promised, the E3 coverage starts today, and the first conference on the list that I'm actually watching is Microsoft uh, slash Xbox. Let's take a look at the uh, E3 Xbox coverage. They're calling it the E3 2018 briefing, and find out what we think. Is this... Is this Halo? We started off with this beautiful trailer showing off all of these different animals. It is Halo! See, I haven't played anything past Halo 3. So, I'm not really sure where they're at in the story now. But the game looks good. It's also really saturated, which I like. Halo! Infinite. I thought they were on like six. But I, you can go straight to infinite if you want. Why is everyone dressed alike? They must have given everyone a jersey or something as they walked in and said, please wear it. Please. 50 games. 18 of which are exclusive and 15 will be world premieres. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. First up, we have a game that looks kind of like uh, like the Rayman Origins Legends series, except you play as Stitch, I think. Also, there's an owl. It's a very pretty game, but uh, they haven't given a name yet. Beautiful hand-painted side-scroller of the game. No, it's... Oh! It's a sequel. Ori and the Will of the Wisps. I didn't play the first one. Or Ori and the Blind Forest. Um... It will probably show up someday as a first 20. But I haven't gotten around to it. The Samurai game looks pretty good. Also, I uh, believe it said it was developed by From Software. So it's probably good by default. This is basically Dark Souls, but in feudal Japan. And I don't think that there's anything wrong with that statement. Sekiro. Shadows die to... Now we're on a bridge. Die twice. I look neat. Todd Howard? I'm not watching the Bethesda conference right now. I'm watching the Xbox conference. Fallout 76 will have 6,000 endings. And it'll, it'll take you five lifetimes to, to beat it. World premiere exclusive look of Fallout 76. I don't even have yes, to watch the Fallout Bethesda conference. 76. Four times the size of Fallout 4 and set in West Virginia. Sign me up, except for the fact that I'm I'm finishing my three-year Let's Play. It's still mind-blowing to me that th this is a brand new Fallout game, man. Like, it wasn't that long ago we got Fallout 4, and Fallout 4 was a full game. And now, here's here's another one. <laughs> Xbox One X Enhanced HDR 4K Compatible. I mean, it looks good, man, but again, if anyone's asking, I'm not covering it on the channel. An original story in the Life is Strange universe, this is going to make a lot of people very happy. Um, I still have not played Life is Strange other than a demo Fridays. I liked what I played, just never get around to, to playing the full thing, but hey. This is, uh, this is cool for fans of that series. Game looks like a very wholesome adventure tale. The Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit. Crackdown 3! I never played Crackdown 2. Crackdown 1 is like, is is fun. The, the premise was ridiculous, but it was pretty fun. So if anyone's never played the Crackdown series, it's basically about making you feel kind of like a superhero. You're like a, a like a super cop, and you have all of these crazy abilities. Like, you can run super fast and jump super high. You got cars that drive on the sides of buildings. And like everyone, like no one can stand in your way. You're just like, boom, 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 boom. It's, it's, it's fun. It's fun. There's other games I'd rather play, but the original Crackdown was was pretty good. Near Automata is coming to Xbox, because before it was on PlayStation, now it's going to be on both. Th that's it. It's called Become As Gods Edition. I really liked what I played of the first 20. At some point, I'd love to get around and actually finish that game. I've never played any of the games in the Metro series, but I feel like I would really like them. Um, like, just... Just looking at this, I'm like, yeah, I feel like I'd probably enjoy this. But I'm not really sure where to start. Metro... Uh... Uh... Ex Exodus. 
Looks good. Also, there are lots of scary monsters. Many monsters. Lord Hot Monkey. All I'm seeing here is Lord Hot Monkey. Like, Phil Spencer's talking about something, but I'm just like, what does Lord Hot Monkey mean? Kingdom Hearts! The crowd's excited! I still have yet to ever play a Kingdom Hearts game, but every time I see anything about them, in the back of my head I'm like, man, this is like a real thing that exists, like Final Fantasy characters and Disney. And it was super successful, and now they're on the third one. It's just wild. Cargo fast, sheep look up! Sheep ignore, now there's a tractor, race a tractor! Look out for the windmills! You're going too fast for this road! Wait, what the- there's hovercrafts! Okay. And motor there's a lot of whatever this game is. Is it Forza Horizon? It's Forza Horizon 4. This is pretty cool. In Forza Horizon 4, it's a big open world and you share the world with the community. Probably on a server-by-server -server basis. And, uh, it's beautiful. And it looks... I mean, I'm not into driving games, but I'm like, eh, this is pretty neat! This is pretty neat! Kind of reminds me a little bit... I don't know how much of, like, Britain is modeled, but it kind of reminds me a little bit of The Crew, which came out a few years ago by Ubisoft. Except this... Looks a lot better. <laughs> Microsoft Studios has acquired a bunch of other studios. They started another one called The Initiative, but then they they acquired like five more. So um, they're very serious about making them games. It's wild that We Happy Few is still in development, um, but it's still looking good, man. It's such a weird, interesting story. It's, uh, it's a game that I've been excited about across several E3s now. August 10th, 2018. It has a release date! That's exciting. I have no idea what game this is. Um, some sort of Royale-esque shooting game? I'm, I'm not sure. Team-based combat? Anyway, it said console launch exclusive, so it must be a game that previously existed but is coming to consoles for the first time. Oh, it's PUBG. I've never played PUBG. But I thought that was already on Xbox! What does con- wasn't it? Maybe it's not? I thought it was. What does console launch exclusive mean? Anime the game! Walk with your animated horse to a digital cliff. Think about the world. Oh, it's, it's a Tales game. <laughs> Tales of Asperia! Definitive edition. Oh my god, it's The Division. There's been all, there's been like this crazy motion graphics thing like Washington DC fell and then this happened and this other thing. It's The Division 2. We played The Division actually, a little bit. There's a video on Steven Plays about it. You can search for it. Now that I'm watching gameplay footage of The Division 2, it's reminding me of The Division 1 and I think the biggest reason I didn't like that game was Every- all the enemies felt like bullet sponges. And like, that's a style of game, but I don't know, there was something that didn't sit well with me whenever we- we played it. The community aspect was fun, because we played it with, uh, played it with like Dan Taylor and Josh, and that was fun to go through and do things together, but the actual gameplay itself was not my style, and it looks like the- the Division 2 is kind of the same. Looks like there's some sort of new Tomb Raider game. Tomb Raider looks good. I still, uh, want to get around to actually playing, like, the first updated one. The first reboot, where it's just Tomb Raider, but it's the reboot, so it's only, like, a few years old, not the original. You, you, you guys know what I mean. I've got to get around to playing that, because they've, they, I hate to say, they're Uncharted! But, you know, it's very similar, and I love the Uncharted series, I feel like I'd really enjoy the new Tomb Raider games. Skate 4? Skate 4? Are you Skate 4? Whatever this is, it's scratching the skate itch. Uh, I was a huge fan of the skate series. Um, it was the natural evolution of the Tony Hawk series. Tony Hawk was great, but then we moved into skate, and skate was what Tony Hawk needed to become. And then they made Skate 3, and it was like, ah, that's it. But this looks like Skate 4. It's not Skate 4, it's called Session, but whatever. If there's not going to be a Skate 4, then we'll go with Session. <laughs> Devil May Cry 5, and it looks like they are having as much fun as ever as they do flips in slow-mo with shotguns and such.
I've never really kept up or played the Devil May Cry series, but apparently it's been over over 10 years since 4, which is wild. Um, it also makes me feel old, because I can vaguely remember that game coming out. Cuphead in the delicious last course. So is this a DLC or a second game? I don't know. People loved Cuphead. I loved Cuphead from what I played. Um... So the fact that there would be more in any capacity is nice. And there's a new character. A brand new aisle with new bosses, new weapons, new charms, and more. And let's not forget the Jolly Chef Saltbaker. Neat. This game about a fox with a sword is cute. It's kind of like a... It's well, I guess you can control the camera, but it looks like it's presented in an isometric view. Tunic. Bandai Namco presents a game where you can play as anime and manga characters, Frieza is destroying what the... <laughs> okay, so this isn't, like, terribly unusual, right? Because I, I remember, maybe it was Bandai Namco, they made it, like, a fighting game, or several fighting games, you could play as all these different characters having fights. So is this just another version of that? Kind of seems like it, like a, a fighting game. But I think the other ones were for, like, DS or 3DS or something, so... It looks good in HD. Jump Force. Because of Shonen Jump. Oh, is this a new Battletoads game? <laughs> looks like a new Battletoads game. It's a Battletoads game. All we get to know is that it exists. Okay. Just Cause 4? Okay, yeah, this is Just Cause 4. If a, if a guy jumps out of a moving vehicle and immediately opens up a parachute, that... that genre is called Just Cause. Just Cause 4. December. You'll be able to ride... T t tornadoes. Ooh, crowd is cheering for Gears of War. Again, I'm not sure what number they're on. Five? Or six? Also, f fun Funko Pop. I'm assuming that this is not to announce a game, but instead to announce that they're making figurines. <laughs> okay. Yes, that was an advertisement for Funko Pop. From the okay. Gears of War Tactical Game. It's our take on the classic huh. Strategy genre. That's it's interesting. Okay, Gears 5 is the one that they're on. So... They made figurines, and then also they're working on Gears Tactics and Gears 5. I, I still have only ever played the first one. I like the first one, but I haven't played the other ones. So they're doing some sort of weird thing where it looks like everything glitched. What game is it that you had to make the lights flicker for? It says that this is from CD Projekt Red. So that at least puts a lot of reason as to why they're like finishing off the show with this. Um, right now I'm just waiting for a title. Cyberpunk 2077. Isn't that already a, is that a game? Have I just read about this game? Or is this like a, a reboot of another game? I don't know, it sounds familiar regardless. dun 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 Games, 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 games. I gotta admit, um... I'm, I'm guessing that's... that's it. Uh, that... that was pretty... dang strong... Uh, E3. Man. I think that... that was a, that was a pretty... That was... that was pretty good. Um... Like... One of the things that's interesting about this specific one is that Microsoft or, or Xbox in the past has <laughs> approached E3 differently. There's there's one E3 in particular where like they showed some games, but they was like, now nah, we're gonna we got the television, television. Look at all these other things that aren't games, and that one sticks out in my head is is like, oh, okay, and this one. You know, they really, they they came to E3 with, I mean, one goal, like show off 50 games, and they did it.
There was there was no getting sidetracked. It was just like game, game, game. And even if all of them didn't a- appeal to you, which obviously they won't, there's 50. Um, there's so many different uh, things shown. I was it was good. That was good. That was really good. I'm uh, I'm actually really impressed, especially again considering how some of the past E3s have went for Microsoft. That one was really good. There was a there was a lot of interesting things shown there. The fact that they had 18 exclusives, they had 15 world premieres, they had all this other stuff. Not bad. Uh, the question is now, how will Sony do tomorrow? I don't know, but I'm I'm looking forward to to checking it out. Um, I am not going to be covering any other conferences other than the big three. So today is Microsoft, tomorrow is Sony, and then on Tuesday is Nintendo. Um, I will not be covering the Bethesda conference. I assume they'll be talking a little bit about Fallout. <laughs> I'll um, I'll go and look up the uh, like the big key points of of those. But uh, yeah, Xbox was good. Very good. Good time to be uh, a gamer. I think. Um, the other thing that was interesting is that uh, they did they didn't say much about it, but they briefly mentioned that like engineers are working on the next Xbox iteration. And who knows how early it is that they're they're talking about that, like whether that's a year or two out. Um, it's just interesting that they talked about it at all. I really didn't think they were going to mention that, so that was I was curious. Anyway, that is it for today. Okay, so I thought I was done, but uh, Mao is Mao's over here, and she said you should see at least the end of the Bethesda conference. And I was like, why? She said, you should see it. So I'm not going to view the whole thing, but I'm rolling again to show off the very end of the Bethesda conference and see what this is about. Also, apparently, Fallout 76 comes out November, so that's soon. They're making an Elder Scrolls game for mobile. It's called the Elder Scrolls Blades. There's, there are six people clapping. And it's the one you keep asking about. Elder Scrolls 6. Elder Scrolls 6. Bethesda Game Studios presents Elder Scrolls 6. Skyrim 2 Electric Boogaloo. Morrowind 3. Get me out of this tree. Daggerfall 4. Someone shut the, the, the door as a draft. Elder Scrolls 6. I mean... Look, like, they were gonna make it. <laughs> There's a sta- slight standing ovation. Okay, so that was it. Now, was that the thing that you said? Okay. Well... I mean, it's exciting. Don't get me wrong. It's exciting. And I, I love, obviously... <laughs> The Elder Scrolls series, having put so much time into all of Skyrim. Um, No idea how far away Elder Scrolls 6 is, but I would say a bit. Especially if they they said they want to work on Starfield first, so it's going to be a while before we ever get around to Elder Scrolls 6. But it's nice for them to, you know, publicly acknowledge it and be like, hey, check it out. It's a little little logo and a flyover and everyone's like yeah and they're like all right but that's it sit sit back down okay now i'm done good night